Hey guys, so I just wanted to run through what you can do if you've got a lower back disc bulge. So in our lower back here, these are the discs that are often the most bulge. So when we have a disc bulge, a lot of the time it's from being in a flex position, which basically means when our spine goes forwards, okay? So when we're in our neutral spine, which is where I am now, this is our strongest position. So we do want to avoid too much flexion, whether it's around the house, lifting up the kids, in the garden, whatever it is, we want to be in our strongest position when we're lifting or when we're bending or throughout our day. When you're in a sitting position or two at work, you can get more compressed. And if you combine that with a bit of a poor posture when you're sitting down in your chair, you sure are putting a lot of extra pressure on those lower back discs. So if you end up with a disc bulge, what can you do to make your body feel a little bit better or get some temporary relief, then build that into actually fixing your back. So what you can do for some temporary relief to start with is just do some gentle little rocking of the knees. Okay, so you don't want to pull too hard, so you pull your hips and tailbone off the ground. Just gently rocking forward and back just to get all the little muscles and ligaments loosening up because generally they like to go quite tight to protect your spine. The second one you can do is feet to the ground and just go gently side to side. If you're looking at a clock, we're just going from 11 o'clock to one o'clock, not too wide, not too low. And again, for about 30 seconds. The third one we can do is feet again on the floor and we can roll our pelvis up and down, just doing some little pelvic tilts. Again, nice small range, just to get a little bit of movement in there because we know we get quite stiff when we've got a lower back disc bulge. The next thing you can do is go onto your tummy and just lie there with your chin on your hands, one fist, depending how it feels, or double fists. Okay, and this is gonna create a bit of extension back into your lower back. Doing the opposite of that flexion or that rounding position that you might have been in originally to cause the problem. Now you don't need to go much higher than double fists. This position can feel quite nice just to line for up to two, three minutes. Then of course, when you come out of it, just roll out of it and sit back up so that you keep your back nice and neutral. So that's some easy things that you can use right away, some knee rocks, some pelvic tilts, some little side to side with the knees, and then going onto your tummy to help relieve some of those stiffness, tightness, soreness in your lower back if you've suffered from a disc bulge.